everyone, my name is Hannah and I'm in third year biomedical engineering here at UBC and today I'm going to be taking you along on a day in my life on a design team. So in this video I'm going to be showing you kind of an overview of what the team meetings were like. This week it was online just because I'm currently on reading week. UBC now has a first term reading week which is really really nice to have a break. So yeah, we did our meeting online and then I also just did some tasks and I'll also show you kind of like what the outline of the SOP looks like so you can get an idea of like what the time commitment's like and things like that. Also at the end of the video, I will be kind of quickly going over um, like how many design teams there are at UBC and how you can get involved, so make sure you stay tuned. So I'm on the Biomedical Engineering Student Team, or BEST, at UBC, and I'm on the BIT subteam, which is the Biochemical Innovation Team. I also like to get Starbucks right before my meeting. I'm just trying to find shoes. So I think I'm going to go get a Starbucks. I want to get one of the Christmas drinks just because it's fun to like sip on a drink in the meeting. So when they're online, I'll go to the Starbucks near my house, but when they're on campus, I will go to the Starbucks on campus. There's so many Starbucks on campus. So yeah, and I usually get like a Irish cream cold brew with like the cold foam and it's so good. Hey, I'm wearing my big winter parka because in Vancouver, as you can see, sometimes it's just absolutely pouring. Google Drive and I just wanted to quickly show you guys um, what the SOP kind of looks like. I can't really show the full thing just because that's part of our project but I'm gonna show like what the header looks like um, so you can kind of see our logo and things like that. So this is the document that I've been working on with um, my friend Edward on the team for the past like two weeks um, so this is our cute little logo and then yeah it's just a standard operating procedure for polyphenol extraction um, yeah and it just kind of includes like the safety it includes the um, steps for the lab it includes the reagents the equipment um, yeah potential risks safety training and like emergency procedures and all that kind of stuff and yeah, it's really exciting. I'm personally not going into the lab to do this just because I'm gonna be working a lot at my other job for like Black Friday and the holiday time. So I just thought it'd be too stressful. So I'm probably gonna be going into the lab in January doing either like, I think validation is after this. So after we extract the polyphenols or something else, I'm not, I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna be going into the lab for, but I think that will be in January, so I'm really excited, but yeah. And you can join a design team in first year, second year, third year, you can join whenever, and you can also um, be on the design team during your co-op term, so while you're working as well, if you wanna do that. Um, I personally joined in second year just because first year was a little bit overwhelming for me um, course-wise, so it's totally normal. Don't feel like you have to do everything as soon as you get accepted to UBC and in first year, um, it's very, very normal. Most people I feel like join in second year and above anyway. So that's it for today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed. I'm also going to leave a link in the description box below, um, bringing you to a page where it just explains all of the different engineering design teams at UBC, because there's a lot and there will definitely be something for like every different interest. And I think it's a really great idea to join a team because it's a great way to meet new people and make friends and also get some hands-on technical experience outside of your classes. So it can kind of put you apart from other students when you're applying for jobs. And I have so far found it really beneficial and fun because I'm getting to do some hands-on work about something that I'm passionate about.